What's going on YouTube? It's Ben. Thanks again for checking out my channel. I truly appreciate all of you subscribers. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the sub button down below. I would much appreciate you. And if you love the content in this video or any of my videos, be sure to smash the like button as well. Um, it just ranks the videos up on YouTube and that's kind of cool. So I'd appreciate that a lot. Um, so let's jump right into this video. Um, I wanted to make this because a lot of people get stuck on this element and a lot of people have no clue how to approach this. So let's dive right in. How do you approach a brand new potential staffing client for your recruiting agency? Um, so there's three main ways that I've come about and seen and heard about and done myself. Um, the first would be email. Um, the second would be face to face. And the third would be cold calling. Um, so I'll unpack all three of those and I'll give you my take and a little bit about each of them and what I think you should probably do to be successful uh, in recruiting. So uh, my personal far and away favorite is email marketing. So basically the reasons why are email is extremely efficient. Um, you can essentially send out as many emails as you want to whomever you want and it takes basically one click to get done. Um, it's very efficient, so I can do a ton of other stuff during my day while I'm just emailing like 500 potential clients. Um, I have automated systems that can find me emails. Um, I can bulk send emails. I can do A-B testing with emails, which is when you test like one template versus another template and see which one gets the better response rate. Um, you can look at the open ratios, so you have tools online that can actually tell you you know how many people what percentage of people opened this email um, when did they open it and it, it's just much easier um, another thing about email is i think it's kind of where our culture is right now so um how do you feel like when you look at your phone and you're getting a phone call right that it's like it's horrifying um how do you feel when you get a text message or an email you're pretty chill, right? So getting an email from someone is not too crazy. It's not like someone's asking you to get married. Um, they're just kind of like saying, hello, hey, you know, from afar. So it's it's way easy, it's super simple. Um, it's my personal favorite for marketing um, and it's super massively efficient. So uh, the second method of approaching a potential client uh, would be face-to-face, uh, -face, in person. Um, and this is like the door-to-door -door salesman kind of tactic. So. Well, I don't do this personally. Uh, I know of people who do do this and it's, it's iffy, okay? Um, you, you know, in today's culture, right, you know, approaching someone without an appointment at random uh, kind of takes some balls, right? So you kind of have to have big balls to actually go out and knock on someone's door and say, hey, is, uh, you know, the, the CTO around? I want to chat with them or, you know, something like that. Or just approach them and say, hey, you know, um, my name's Ben. Um, I run XYZ Staffing Agency and uh, here's my card. You know, I'd love to connect with whomever. Um, so couple pitfalls with that. Number one, if you don't actually get to meet and greet the decision maker face to face, you've accomplished nothing. If you didn't get to meet the, the decision maker, you're probably gonna leave, what, a business card? Which is number one, outdated. The business card's probably just gonna sit on the desk and or go in the garbage because the gatekeeper, whoever was at the front desk is probably not gonna pass it along because that's their job to kind of keep the gate. Um, and so if you fail at actually connecting with the decision maker, which is your ultimate goal to get a conversation started, you're not going to have, you know, any sort of traction with that. So walking around and knocking on like office building doors, which basically is soliciting, um, is just not the best route at all. And I would highly uh, disavow it. So I, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's the way to go at all. Um, and the third method, um, which is cold calling. So this is my second favorite. Obviously, face-to-face -face is the worst, and I would highly uh, not recommend that you do that. Um, in most offices, it's practically illegal. But let's go into cold calling. So cold calling. This is second to email um, because it's not sending a digital communication, but it's sending a phone call. Um, however, Let's go back to kind of the elements I mentioned about face-to-face -face and email. 
Um, so when you cold call someone, you're cold calling with the intent of getting a conversation with a decision maker. So ultimately, the best phone call would go like this. Um, Hi, this is Ben. Yeah, I'm calling from Seattle Search Solutions, and I would love to speak with um, James. Is James available? Um, okay, great. James, the CTO. Yeah, okay. Um, excellent. Hey, James, this is Ben. I'm with Seattle Search Solutions. We love to you know, provide you guys with uh, a couple of uh, roles. We've got great candidates, blah, 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 blah. Yes, you agree? Okay, great. You're going to pay me? Awesome. Boom, it's in my bank account. Okay, we're done. That's how a great cold call would happen, right? You'd close a deal, you'd get paid, you'd get roles, um, and it would work out. However, you're really ultimately rolling the same dice that you're rolling when you send cold emails out. So the way I view cold calling is that you're sort of just playing the same exact game with a different medium. And I also think that abruptly receiving a phone call from a random and or unknown phone number is not exactly the way that our culture is set up right now. Um, like I said before, you, you probably get pretty uncomfortable seeing a random number come up calling you on your phone versus getting an email where it's just like, hi, hello, from afar, and you can choose to respond or not to respond. Let me kind of dovetail all of these out by saying, if you're gonna do business with someone, if a company is going to engage you and actually utilize you for staffing services, you never wanna pull teeth. In business in general, you never wanna pull teeth. I mean, who wants to do business if you have to literally force someone's hand to sign the contract and go along with what you wanna do? That's not gonna work. You're gonna have trouble all the way through the process. Like they're gonna reject your candidates. Um, they're going to make it extremely difficult for you. They probably will be late paying you. I mean, it's just gonna be a nightmare. Like you would never wanna pull teeth. You always wanna do amicable business with uh, partners and clients that want to do business with you that actually think uh, of you as a valuable partner for them and you as you to them as well and there's a, a symbiotic relationship there so if you're you know cold calling someone and they answer and then they reluctantly take your call and they kind of like take it in a direction where it's like yeah maybe yeah cool we can set up an appointment or something and you know let's say that appointment goes decent and they want like another appointment you should start to look at that process and just kind of think about it. But those are the three main ways that you would approach clients. So um, like I said, number one, cold email, 100% is my go-to. Um, the second one would be cold calling, not my favorite at all, but second nonetheless. And the third, which I literally almost think is impossible nowadays um, is in person, face to face, um, because of soliciting laws and other things like that. And I really only think that you would get those kind of things if you had set up a previous phone appointment to be able to show up and actually talk to them. But I mean, you have to have huge balls if you're literally gonna walk into an office and try to knock on the door and get to connect with the CTO. Um, and that's just my opinion. So um, at any rate, um, I think cold emails 100% the way to go. So if you're just starting out, understand that digital communication is the absolute best. So cold emailing, also LinkedIn is going to be your best friend. So sending emails, I know that they're limited. Um, if you buy the premium membership, you get 20 emails. Um, you can use them wisely. You could send one a day, but email is huge. There's uh, Chrome extensions that you can utilize to find people's emails. There's tons of tools that can scrape emails off of LinkedIn. And it's just a, it's a billion times easier than doing anything else. So that's what I would go with when approaching um, new potential clients. I think it's the, hot, the most successful uh, way to go about it. Um, I know most people that, that are in staffing that I relate to uh, utilize cold email and I've had all of my success via, call, via cold email. So um, I guess this, this video is just kind of going to end up with me promoting cold email. I mean, that's just kind of what happened. So um, at any rate, I hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. Um, I'll definitely make a video for Saturday um, highlighting some other stuff. And I uh, want you to smash that like button. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome weekend. I hope you're doing some work at the same time. But other than that, peace.